Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about uh, or actually we're going to look at an introduction to if statements. Um, in a couple of previous tutorials I've shown if statements. Uh, we really didn't dive into them and that was uh, my intentions in those tutorials to kind of leave them out there um, so we could actually dive into them and really discuss them because you use if statements a lot in programming. So understanding an if statement, practicing if statements, and um, they, it will take you a long way. So let's start with just looking at what an if statement is. So I'm going to create an if statement here, and I'll explain it to you after I create it. So a is equal to one. All right. So this is our basic. Uh, we got our our object over here, and we got our variable here, and it's just assigning. A to represent one, all right. So we talked about that a million times. Then we're going to do if A is equal equal to one. So here, here we got if the starter our if statement, and then we have a comparison operator it's saying, hey, um, A represents one. So this is going to be true, all right. So A, if we replace A with one because that's what it represents, would be one is equal to one. All right, cool. Then we have to put a, col a colon at the end of our statements. So at the end of our if statement, we put a colon. And I'm gonna hit return. Now notice over here, we get these three dots. Well, this is like, hey, you're still in your block of code. So we're gonna get these three dots until we exit this block of code. So unlike other uh, programming languages, um, if you're using like an if statement or a for loop or a while loop or something like that, you need to, there's like a special character out here, maybe it's your uh, curly bracket or um, I don't know, other languages use other things. Python uses indentation. <clears throat> and indentation is, in this case, a couple spaces or a tab. Um, for our tutorials and for you to just uh, understand it better, I would stay away from tab, all right? Because um, tab, if you go, say, tab, and then you write your line of code and you go to the next one and then use spaces, it's going to screw it up. So I do two spaces, two spaces in, and then I tell it to do something. So I'm going to say print, uh, we'll print string A is equal, if I spell equal to one. Alright, then we go to the next one and we're going to say elif a is equal to two colon. Here's our statement, so we have a colon again. Elif is else if. So it's kind of like else if, like that. Alright, um, if you're using an elif, you need another um, piece of code or rule here that can equate to true or false, um, just like we have a is equal equal to two, which is false because um, a is actually one and they're not equal, so that's false. All right, so we're going to tell it to do something after this. So here we go again with our indentation, indent two spaces, and we'll do print, and we'll say a is equal to Two, which it's not. And we're gonna hit return again, and then we're gonna do else. And else does not take uh, a in its statement. It doesn't have a uh, true or false uh, way to indicate in the code. So um, if this is false and elif is false, then it's gonna run else. So we get two spaces again. We'll say print. Uh, a is equal to nothing. Alright. So here's our if statement. Now let's go through this one more time. Um, in the if statement, first off, we created our object one. A is representing the object of one. And then we come down, here's our if statement. Remember, anytime you use if, elif, or else, you need a colon behind that uh, statement. So we got if a is equal to 1, which a is equal to 1, do the next block of code. All right, well, the two spaces here indicate a block of code. All right, so it could be other things. We could um, put
put more print statements here if we wanted to below it. We could tell it to do all types of code down here. We could even put other if statements in here in this block of code here. All right. And then we, um, if it's true, it's going to do this, which it is. So it's going to do that. Uh, if it was false, it would go on to elif. All right. Now we can have numerous amounts of elifs in our block of our if statement here. So this could be an elif, we got an elif here, elif here, and it would go so on. But in this case, we have elif a is equal equal to two. It's not, so this one wouldn't run, well, it wouldn't run anyway, because it goes, this is true, it's gonna do this block of code, and then it's done, it gets out of that if statement. But if this was false, then it would run this. Well, if uh, a is equal equal to two, um, it's going to not run this either because that's not true. Then it would go on to else, and this is the last one, and it says print uh, A is equal to nothing. All right. So <clears throat> if none of these, if the if statement or the else statement were not true, then it would run, it would come to else and would run that. All right. So hit return, hit return one more time, and we get A is equal to one because this one was true. So let's, uh, take a look at another one here. Let's do that. A is equal to one again. All right. And then we're going to do if A is equal, equal to zero, uh, don't forget your colon, two spaces in the print A is equal to zero. Close out that um, print statement. Then we're going to do elif a is equal equal to one colon. Then we'll do uh, print. Oops, need two spaces. Print a is equal to uh, one. And then we'll do another elif. A is equal equal to two. Print A is equal to 2. All right. And I'm not going to use an else statement here, and we'll talk about that in a second. So I hit return, and I get A is equal to 1. So what happened here? All right, so we created our object. A is representing that object, and that A is going to be 1. So if 1, so you replace the A with one is equal equal to zero run that block of code well that is not true this is not true that's false so it's going to go to the next one so we go elif a or one is equal to one from the next block of code so it's going to run this print uh, a is equal to one so we got that one correct so it didn't even run this block of code and um, so what happens if we do another one. All right, let's do a quick one here. If a is equal equal to three colon, uh, do something. We're gonna say print a. All right, and we're gonna do uh, else. Just show you what an else does. I would do print um, a is equal to one. All right. Hit return, hit return, and it prints a is equal to one. So it runs this if statement. This is false. So it doesn't run this. And then it comes to else, says nothing else to do. It's going to print this. All right. So what happens if I change this to else if and took out else, what would happen? So let's Go ahead and do that real quick. We we'll use the same thing. And then I'm gonna do elif. Elif a is equal equal to four colon print b. Alright. Hit return, hit return. Nothing happens. No code is ran, printed, or anything. And the reason for that is because 
this is false, and then it goes in the next line to elif, this is false, so it doesn't do anything and it exits out of the if statement. Alright, so that's just the basics of an if statement in Python. We'll get into more um, intense uh, um, overview of the if statements in the next tutorial. Um, but I suggest that you uh, bust this out, try it out. Um, also take notice of how uh, it works in the terminal or your command prompt, whatever you're using. Um, we're not going to use this anymore. I'm going to start using Sublime Text. So if you don't have Sublime Text, go ahead and check out uh, our tutorials on installing Sublime Text on Mac or Windows. And um, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video.